Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene, with long sheepish bangs, which will be trimmed soon, I hope. I need to be in the mood to do that. I just looked, and it has been exactly two months to the day since I have done a Can I Blank This Shit video. So it is time. I have to get back into this series. So I am going to do a Can I Stiffy This Shit. You might remember that I bought some Stiffy at Walmart. This is a fabric stiffener, so obviously I will be able to stiffen this fabric, but I'm going to put it to the test for more than that. It is, it just says fabric stiffener, easy to use, water-based formula, so if you stiffen something and you don't want it to be stiff forever, and why would we, you can wash it and the stiffener will go away, I assume. I really cannot find ingredients in this at all. I did want to look at the site, but I didn't. So if you just want to look up Mod Podge Stiffy, you might be able to get some more information. It could be just some liquid starch. I don't know. Now, here's the deal. When I trim the fabrics that I sell, I sometimes have these little strips where I just even things up. I would love to turn these into beads if possible. So I'm going to stiffen some of these strips, let them dry. When they're stiff, I will come back and I'm going to see if they would be easy to cut. Maybe if they're stiff, I could cut them even with craft scissors. If not, I can try fabric scissors. But in order to make a bead, I would like to have like a nicer triangle and certainly not like all these threads hanging off them. So I'm going to see if I can do that. Then I would actually roll the bead, cover that with Mod Podge and see if we can get a nice hard fabric bead out of that. I think it's more difficult than paper, but it's cool, it's fabric. So I have this print also and I think that's what I pulled out. I even would like to try on my paper cutter. I don't think that will work at all, but I certainly will give it a try. It probably would not work with a thin strip like this. I could try like a wider piece of fabric just for the heck of it to see if that's stiffened, if it can be cut with a paper cutter. So I will grab a bigger piece also. So I'm just gonna turn the camera down. I don't remember if I read on here that you can dip your stuff into this, but, but I'm just gonna take a brush and brush it on, on my lovely messy paper. And I'll just turn the camera down and show you. Let me just try a piece about this long to see. I'm going to shake this. I don't know if I'm supposed to, but I am. I'm such a non-rule reader. Let's see, what brush do I want? I'm just going to take this little fluffy brush that I think Skylar trimmed. <laughs> and I'm just going to put that on there. Let me smell it. That smells like vegetables. Am I on the right setting? Hang on. Thinking this is better? I don't know. I'm not going to put it on too thick. Whoops. And let me see. I think it's going through. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty soaked through. You know, I'm just going to take my fingers now and just kind of like squeeze it in. I think that's enough. Not sure. Let's really soak it. Not the cleanest job. Might come in handy if you're making a stiff mummy costume. Who would want a stiff mummy? <laughs> I'm going to find a place to just put this aside to dry. Before I forget, I want to do a wider piece so that I can put that under the paper cutter and see if we can cut that. That would be pretty cool if we could, but I'm seriously doubting it. We won't know unless we try. Now let that dry. I'm just actually like hanging the strips on the edge of my little trash can. Let's stiffen up this guy. Certainly slower than paper beads, but I might find something very useful for this stiffy with fabric if I decide I like the way it comes out. And I have no interest in ironing this fabric first. Let's test the wrinkles and see if they will come out. I'm assuming they will. Yep, took the wrinkles out. 
What am I missing? This one. I got this stiffy at Walmart and it was like five dollars ish. I don't know if it was four something or five something. Not cheap stuff. I'm gonna have to experiment. If I like what it does, I might just play with doing some liquid starch, seeing what we can figure out. I have those things just hanging like this on the edge of my little trash can. As soon as it dries, we will put it to the test and see if we can cut this shit and also roll this shit. It's later, and we have some fairly stiff shit here. I'm impressed. I mean, it's still like flexible, but it's pretty stiff. You know what I mean? You can hear it, it's, it's stiff. Let's see first if I can cut this with just some regular craft scissors. I'm going to just try cutting a long triangle. Ooh, that worked great. Let me do the other side. And these are like the cheapest craft scissors ever. Well, look at that. I have a nice tapered triangle that we will roll. We will see if we can roll this shit into a bead. Let's do the next test. Let's see if I can cut with the paper cutter. I'm not as hopeful for this, but I'm very curious. <gasps> oh my god, that cut like paper. Could I do it with just regular fabric? <gasps> I can cut fabric with a paper cutter. I didn't know that. Why have I never tried this? Okay, see, I guess I could if it's, no, it's not catching every single time. Let's see if I can do like little slices with this. Yes. Okay, this is absolutely fantastic. I I don't know why I would ever want to stiffen fabric like this and then cut it, but I guess if I wanted to make fabric beads, it would make more sense to just drench the whole piece in stiffy, you know, and just kind of not wring it out, but squeeze it out, let it dry, and then I could cut my triangles. I'm going to see if I could cut tapered. Yep. I mean, I'm not cutting long strips, but it's easily letting me cut to a point. Freaking awesome. Now let's take this strip that I cut and let's roll this mofo. <laughs> I need my glue. Where the hell is my glue? Oh, it's right here. It's always here. I'm just going to roll on a paintbrush and let's just get it started. I'll put a little bit of glue as I go. Whoa. Pretty awesome. Well, look at that. Oh my goodness, I have a fabric bead. That is just too cool. I might have to make some of these. So the real test will be to let this dry and coat it with some Mod Podge and I bet you it will come hard like a paper bead. Now let's try like a paper core. Let's say we wanted to use just a little piece of fabric and we could just maybe wrap that around the paper core. The only thing is, is what's nice about the fabric the whole way is that the edges matches the bead, whereas with paper that wouldn't happen. But let me see, I have a scrap here. 
I'm trying to cut a straight line here. Straight enough. Make it narrower. Alright, so let me try rolling this. This is just a straight piece of paper. Paper gets hard, you know, once you glue it and cover it with Mod Podge, so... But I'm just going to, um, try covering it right now with some stiffy fabric. Let me see. Oh my god, I just love the ease of cutting this shit. Okay, like I said, it's not going to look as good because the edges of the bead are white. But you can always go in with some marker or paint. It's just, I'm just curious to see if we can do it, first of all. What's cool is if you sew and you make yourself a shirt or something, you can totally make yourself some matching beads. Okay, this isn't bad at all. Let's see, the fabric is a little bit sticking out right there. See, if you wanted, you could just take like a red marker and, you know, just touch up the core when that's dry. Awesome. Let's make one more long bead. I'm going to do a triangular cut again. Do a more narrow one. That stuff is really stiff. I'm very glad I bought this just to try it. Okay, I've got pretty much a nice long skinny triangle. Let's just roll this baby. It really does give a whole different texture and look to the beads. You know, different than paper. Don't really have the right glasses on. I don't know how to explain the difference, but I mean, it kind of sort of looks like fabric, but kind of sort of doesn't. I just really like it. Okay, I'm going to um, let those dry a little bit, and I'm going to put a coat of Mod Podge. And Gee, I just Mod Podged one, and I know some of you have asked if I can show how to Mod Podge something or glaze it. I just put it on a bigger paintbrush so that it doesn't slide all the way down, and then I just hit it with Mod Podge. Now, that, the, the one I'm using right now is just Mod Podge Gloss. I never know which way I have to show it to you <laughs> so that it's not upside down for you. And I always put some on the edges and you know, just all over the bead. And I usually hit them with two or three coats. And it doesn't have to be super thick. And it doesn't take too long to dry. Uh, I am going to have fun with this, but I am going to look into making my own stiffy. I really think it's just a matter of some liquid starch, maybe with a little bit of water. I don't know. But I think this would go a long way. So. I can link to Amazon. If I find it on Amazon, I will link down below with a link to this. And to this. This hair is crazy. I want to wrap up this video so I can edit and upload it tonight. I did get to put two coats of Mod Podge. Let me show you the beads. Glasses. It's hard-ish. You know, like the shell feels hard. But I can tell that I would be able to squish that. Whereas the paper beads, I mean, you know, I could squish it, but it just has a more firm feel. It's because the paper just gets very hard when it's soaked with glue or Mod Podge. But I could put one more coat of Mod Podge on these. I, I think they're perfectly fine as is for beads. This will dry a little bit more. I can see there's parts that aren't quite clear yet, but they are super cool. And what a fun way to like, you know, if you have a favorite shirt or something that means something to you, you could uh, turn it into beads. I would certainly use cotton. I think cotton would be the best, but you can try anything. You could even use ribbon. I even just like those three together like that. And the one with the paper in the center, that probably would get harder, but I would have needed more paper. I don't have too many wraps of paper in there. But just the same, super cool, super fun. 
and I did want to try, this is just my water that my brushes sit in, but let's um, stick a stiffy end in there. Let's do this end because that's, I can feel very, very stiff and thick with stiffy. I'm going to just soak it in the water for a second. It does say water-based formula, so that's softening up. Yeah, I mean, that's coming right out of the fabric. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if there's anything else that I need to tell you. Like I said, I will try to have links down below for the Mod Podge and for the Stiffy. Mod Podge Stiffy. And I do believe there is also a Mod Podge for fabric, like where you can cover fabric with it and maybe it would dry harder than Mod Podge Gloss. I also could have tried some Mod Podge Super Gloss, but that takes longer to dry. I would have really had to let it set overnight, and for the sake of the video, I just wasn't willing to wait that long. So I'll have some links for you down below. Go check it out, also in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed Can I Stiffy This Shit? It was fun. I'll be happy to get back into this series, so please subscribe if you liked this shit. If my shit offends you, well, we don't care if you hang out with us or not. I like it, and that's what matters, so I will be back with more shit for you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!